Well, interior design has long been a service for the 1%, but a local startup is making it more accessible to all. Right, all right, Allison Mars, yeah, here now to tell us more about the home about home polish is what it's called. Yes, home polish is the name of the startup, and they are just trying to democratize fantastic interior design. Hmm. Stephen Derry, in 2012, Will Nathan and Noah Santos decided it was time that design became more affordable and less obnoxious. They each pitched in $400, just $400 of their own money, and they threw in some of Santos's clients from working in interior design, and home polish was born. Design talent without the ego is something that. Uh, it's really important to us. At Noah Santos's New York City startup Home Polish, creating incredible interior designs is all about losing the ego and the outrageous expenses. Interior design was expensive because it was primarily based on a commission, right? Designers would charge a design fee sometimes up front, and then they would charge a percentage of every piece of furniture or decor that you bought. I just realized that there was no reason why something like this couldn't be available to a larger demographic. So in late 2012, Santos, a business and architect grad from Stanford joined forces with Will Nathan, a former banker and BuzzFeed coder, to create a new way of doing design. We changed the model. We, we went to an hourly, flat hourly rate, and then there's no incentive for designers and clients to go over budget. There's no incentive for a designer to walk into your home and tell you to throw everything away and start over. Home polish clients start off with a free hour-long consultation. From there, they can hire designers for $130 an hour and get discounts on the things they buy. We have a product ordering concierge. We give you product discounts. We really want the process to be as seamless as possible. We know it's a it's a big step for a lot of people, um, so we want it to be fun. They've designed over a thousand offices, including spaces for the man repeller, into the gloss and the stone fox bride showroom. Just look at the home polish offices, where they have prefab greenhouses instead of conference rooms. They've reworked 10,000 homes, like Low Bosworth's apartment and the Sweet Green Founders downtown home, and their business is taking off. 27-year-old Santos was just named to the Forbes 30 Under 30. Home Polish just picked up $20 million in outside funding, bringing the company value to $100 million, and they're still growing, attracting over 735,000 Instagram followers and working with 450 designers in 15 cities across the country. Every single one of our clients needs the same thing, because they don't. Every single one of our clients needs something different, and that's that white glove custom offering is what Home Polish is about. All right, so when you have access to the CEO of an interior design firm, you would be a fool not to ask for some advice. So Noah told me one of the biggest mistakes that people make is thinking that it's a bad idea to spend money on a rental. New Yorkers especially spend years, if not decades, renting, and that's a great time to experiment a little bit, figure out what you like before you buy a place, and then make some serious and permanent mistakes. So some of his quick fixes for renters to spruce up your place, put your lights on dimmers. He said then you can change them according to time of day and mood. It adds a lot. He also says buy a bar cart. They provide great storage and style. Obviously, if you're not a drinker, you may not want one, but he said mm -hmm. even as a piece of furniture, it just adds so much no, looks really class cool. to a room. And lighting is. is huge. You oh, can make a is. big difference if you just get some cool artisanal bulbs, yes. a little dimmer. That's Lower good them a little advice. bit, set the mood. Makes a big difference. Yep. All right, oh thank God. you, Alice.